Hi, welcome back to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is another video tutorial. A little bit different than we normally have done. We've done a lot of Photoshop Elements tutorials uh, for your Windows servers guys. A lot of Windows Server tutorials, Windows 7, uh, tutorials about your Mac, about your iPad. This tutorial I thought, since a lot of us are working with video nowadays, I thought it'd be nice to get a video out there um, how to use iMovie. Now iMovie, as you know, comes with all Macs, and for you window folks out there, I'm kind of sorry. Uh, if you look around my site, you'll see some Sony Vegas videos, and those will help you learn a little bit about uh, how to edit on your PC. So we have my uh, camcorder here. It's a JVC. It's not HD. It's just a SD, standard definition camcorder. And we have a cable here. Oops, bumped the mic here. We have a cable here. It's a uh, mini USB cable through a standard USB that I've plugged into the iMac. And we're going to transfer the video off of this camcorder onto the iMac. And I'm going to show you how this is hooked up here. Uh, let me cut and dissolve over here. So how this is hooked up here is actually in the side right here, if you can see this, I'm going to try to bring this up to the camera here a little bit. There is a mini USB plug. We're going to plug into there with our mini USB cable. We're going to open the lid up. And I'm sure you're not going to be able to see these on this uh, camcorder here uh, that I've used for uh, recording. But once you get this done, I don't, I don't think you can see this here, but you're going to take your cam camcorder, at least uh, this JVC, and I'm scrolling down to where it says backup. And I'll just simply select OK. Now at that point, it's in backup mode, and it's ready to go ahead and transfer its contents over onto my iMac, or into your iMovie, whichever uh, Macintosh you happen to be using. Um, the iMac, uh, the Mac Mini, or even your, um, even your laptops, right? Even your uh, MacBook Pros. So this just happens to be iPhoto opened up. Um, I don't really like that part of it. It's seeing that there's some still pictures on my memory card, I guess, and that's where it's picking that up from. Um, so I'm trying to actually close this right now. It's giving me a bit of a hassle here. So let's go ahead and open up iMovie. And iMovie is opening up here. Once we get iMovie opened up, it should actually see that camera or that camcorder you have plugged in, and it should actually prepare it to actually move in to be able to uh, import your movies. Flip back over here. So we're going to go ahead, and if not, click on the little camera over here on the left-hand side in the toolbar. And when you do that, you can see it says JVC GZMS120. That's the model number. It's going to pull that in and uh, prepare it so we can actually start importing our video clips. Then it's generating what is called poster images, right? Or thumbnails, I guess, more or less. We're going to pull those into our iMovie. And there we go. Here's all of our video clips that we are pulling in to iMovie. Now you're going to notice, uh, if you're like like me, the way I do things is I don't delete a whole lot off my camcorder. I have a tons of video clips on there I've shot. Uh, so what you want to do is if you're looking for certain video clips, you're going to go down to the bottom. where it says check all and if we click on that once and then click uncheck all it's going to uncheck everything in there now you can do selective checking and pick out just the actual videos that you want um, I'm just looking for some video clip here I can use we'll say we're going to want this one video clip 
Once you have that one video clip selected that you want to import, then just click on Import Checked. It's going to ask you, do you want to create a new event? Unless you're bringing this video clip into some um, video that you've already been working on, then you always want to create a new event. So under your event library, the different video clips will be broken up. Now, if you're working on projects, a lot of times I work on projects where I have 25 second clips, a minute and a half uh, clip, and I could put all those into one event and have all my clips together, and that makes good sense. But what we're going to do here is we're just going to give it a uh, new event name. That's good enough. We'll click on import. And that's going to actually import that actual clip in. It won't take that long. It's generating a thumbnail. <clears throat> the import has been completed. We can click on done down here. We don't need that any longer. And up here now, you'll see where it says event library. Right here at the top. You'll see I get that new event. You have to make sure that your small drive is working out in the boot order. You can just and all I'm doing is using my uh, mouse, just moving through, or you can use your uh, left and right arrow keys. Maybe you want to clip through here somewhere, a certain uh, part of your clip. Uh, that's basically all you got to do. Now, your project bin at the bottom, that's the actual video that you're creating, right? So, what we want to do there is go to File, New Project, give it a name. Um, I'm going to just call this testing project. It's widescreen. Most cameras today do shoot widescreen. Click on create. Now up here, if you click on the first part of your clip and just drag down and just drag over, you can select the whole clip. Then just left click on it and pull it down and drop it into your project. Now we actually have a project made and this is the actual video itself. Now, once we get that done, your movie is pretty much set up. And you can, like I said, you can use clips from different events. You can mix and match clips, do whatever you want to with those. And get them into your project library at that point, not your event library. Event library, remember, is the video you're importing. The project library is actual projects you're working on. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, but hopefully that will get you started using iMovie. And then once you hit your space bar... Okay, hopefully you can see this okay. This is what's known as the BIOS setup on your computer. And the reason I wanted to bring this to your attention was you have to make right up in the preview window there on the right. You can see the uh, preview window. And uh, you can scroll through it. If you don't like something, just move your mouse through like that, select it, and hit your delete key on the keyboard, and that will take that piece out, and it will pull that movie back together for you. So with that, I'm going to let that go. My next iMovie tutorial, we'll talk about how we can actually uh, add menus and credits and all that fun stuff. Add music. A lot of times on my videos, you'll see I'll add opening music. I'll add opening slides. And I'll show you how to incorporate those. So come back here and uh, watch again. If you're not subscribed to my videos, please click the subscribe button. Subscribe to these YouTube videos. I'm always happy to teach. And I'm always glad that you're stopping by. So until next time, keep those camcorders going. Keep the iMovie editor or Sony Vegas editors editing. And I'll see you back here soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.